Hey girls, today is kind of a video that I am a little bit scared to film, but I know it's something I have to do, and I'm still excited about it, but it's kind of like a new thing for me. So basically today I am going to be taking off all my makeup. Yep, I really am. And I have my um, Pond's cleansing wipes, and I'm just going to take it all off and kind of talk about uh, being natural and being comfortable in your own skin, that type of thing. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so in case you haven't noticed, um, my hair is kind of natural today too. I didn't even blow dry it. I'm just letting it dry how it would naturally dry and kind of to just give you the whole video about this. So like I'll have natural hair and then I'll take off my makeup and you can kind of see like the real side of me, like what I am uh, before I cover up my imperfections. So I'm really excited and let me go ahead and start taking off my makeup. So I got my Pond's Cleansing Wipes, and they're really good. They're like supposed to be the best uh, makeup removing type wipes. So um, they take off my eye makeup, everything, really easily. So I'm just going to go ahead and take it all off. Okay everyone, this is me with no makeup. I do look different. Um, yeah, it's a big step for me to just show you how I really look. And um, it's kind of exciting. Um, I hope you can kind of see the real me right now. Yeah, just know that I'm doing this for you guys to encourage you girls out there to be comfortable in your own skin. And really, this is how you really look deep down. And I mean, not deep down, this is like your skin. And I mean, we've all got imperfections. Like right now, I have that one zit. It drives me crazy. And, um, you know, just like old acne scarring. And uh, I've, I've always had a struggle with acne. I have oily skin, but I've never had like intense acne. So at least that's a good thing. But um, yeah, I just, I... I always feel like I have to wear a foundation to cover it up, you know. But as you can see, no one is perfect, and we've all got things about us that we want to change and stuff like that, but um, you really can be comfortable without makeup, and it's sometimes good to go days without makeup. I've done that. I've kind of gone on makeup, like, fast of, you know, just no makeup for these few days, and it's kind of good for your skin because it'll start clearing your skin up because you're not, you know, covering up stuff and, like, touching things, and when you keep your hands off your face, you're always going to have a better-looking um you know, um, skin condition, you know. So it's always good to keep your hands off your face, drink a lot of water, um, get exercise, you know, go out in the sun, but wear sunscreen. Um, vitamin D is good for your skin, you know, from the sunlight. But uh, try not to, like, go out and burn yourself. Try to keep a good amount of sunscreen on. Um, What's some other tips? Oh, eat healthy. I know uh, salmon is a really good food for your skin. Um, I think it's because of the omega-3 and the fish oils and stuff. But that is so good for your skin. Fish and, of course, vegetables like salad and that type of stuff. Um, I know some other foods are really good for your skin, like uh, fruits, like strawberries and blueberries, kiwi. If you're eating a lot of that, then it'll be uh, detoxifying your skin and purifying it of all that old oil and dirt and uh, clogged pores and all that. My number one thing is drink a lot of water. I always have a bottle of water in my room by my bed. Like in the night I get thirsty and I just start drinking water and I'll wake up and I'll just drink like a whole bottle. But I drink a lot of water. Um, I like to go walking. I'm not good at running. Like I'm not an endurance runner. <laughs> I'm not that athletic. But my top things are walking and swimming. I love swimming. I go to the pool almost every day. 
Swimming in the pool is such a good exercise because, you know, it's hot outside in summer, but you can be in the water and be cool, but yet yeah, still be exercising. So, um, yeah, you got to exercise, drink a lot of water, eat those healthy foods, um, go a few days without makeup. Like, just try some makeup-free days. It's actually really, really good for your skin. And it's also good for your mind and your um, thinking because you realize that you can do without makeup and you really don't need makeup makeup to survive girls you really don't um I like some girls only use like concealer like they would put a little concealer here maybe some under their eyes and then just put on some mascara and lip gloss but I I wear like foundation and um but yeah, y'all have seen my foundation. It's this um, Physicians Formula Healthy Wear, and I wear this every day. You've got to come to a point where you're proud of your skin, and I know a lot of you probably struggle really hard with acne. I have struggled very hard with acne, too, especially in the past. I used to use Proactive. I've used almost every brand out there. Um, but that's for another video. I'm going to do an acne video coming up really soon. Um, today was just kind of my natural... Um, take off all my makeup day. I hope this inspired you girls out there just to be comfortable with your own skin and uh, just really show the true you. Don't hide your beautiful features on your face. Just try to hide the only the imperfections and that's it. I've been wanting to do a skincare routine for a long time and finally I've gotten into this really good routine with these wonderful products and I'm so ready to show you all of it but um, that's for another video and um, yeah I'll have that coming out soon. Looking out for for my skincare products routine. I'll have that coming soon. Thank you guys so much and I hope you enjoyed this and um, I hope even though it's kind of weird and I know I am far from perfect looking and as you can see right now my skin is absolutely not flawless. So um, yeah thank you so much girls and I will talk to you later. Bye everyone!